Guten Tag. Als geschäftsführender Leiter der Europaabteilung im US-Außenministerium ist es mir eine Ehre, gemeinsam mit Ihnen dieses historischen Ereignisses zu gedenken. Mein Dank gilt Oberbürgermeisterin Barth für die Einladung, mit Ihnen heute zu reden. Vor 75 Jahren, am 25. April 1945, kam es am Ufer der Elbe in Torgau zu einem historischen Augenblick in der Chronologie des Zweiten Weltkriegs. In Torgau trafen die amerikanische und die sowjetische Armeen aufeinander, die eine aus westlicher Richtung, die andere aus östlicher. The soldiers at Torgau reached across a broken bridge to shake hands. They came from two different worlds. They knew practically nothing about one another. Informal toasts of victory, friendship, peace, and happiness were raised in languages unknown to either, but understood by all. From 1941 to 1945, the Western Allies and the Soviet Union, diametrically opposed on a range of issues, overcame political differences and worked together to defeat a common enemy and achieve a greater good. That fateful Torgau meeting, days before the war's end, heralded an era of rebuilding and reconstruction. Countries banded together and created institutions and alliances to safeguard peace, build prosperity and accountability, and promote freedom. These include numerous international and multilateral fora, such as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, founded in 1949 with the hope of preventing such horrendous wars in the future. Since the end of the Cold War, NATO has addressed new threats to security, including unforeseen threats such as the COVID-19 virus. This year, as a result of COVID-19, the commemorative ceremony in Torgau, as in many other locations in Germany and across Europe, will not take place as planned. Nevertheless, we salute all those who struggled and sacrificed for freedom during World War II. This includes the millions of Allied and Soviet soldiers, Russians, Ukrainians, Belarusians, Central Asians, Georgians, and more, who fought bravely to defeat the Axis powers. We must never forget the unique suffering of the Jewish people in the Holocaust, nor the merciless slaughter of so many other innocent civilians. As we honor their memory, we renew our vow to never allow such horrific crimes against humanity to take place again. We must also never forget that for many nations of Europe, 1945 marked not a return to freedom, but rather the beginning of almost 50 years of oppression. The memory of the war helps us to understand history, to reflect on it, and to learn from its mistakes, and to act accordingly. Some governments have forgotten these lessons, but their people never have. At a time when some countries continue to ignore the basic rights of freedom of their people, and when anti-Semitism and xenophobia are on the rise, it is more important than ever that we not forget the lessons of World War II and its aftermath. To honor our shared history, we must continue to be vigilant in defending human rights, fundamental freedoms, and the rule of law. As we face the ongoing global health crisis and concurrent economic fallout, let us remember the lessons of the past and redouble our efforts to work together. Together, we can build a more peaceful and prosperous future. Thank you, vielen Dank, Spasiba Bolshoi.